beautiful viewers how are you how have you been have you been watching have you been subscribing it's another exciting day here in dog tv kenya and today i'm in embo county for the first time yeah my embo people how are you doing have you been watching have you been subscribing this is dog tv kenya and i'm your girl linda kenyita and today i am visiting mr mungara and uh, i'll let him introduce himself and i'll let him introduce the name of his kennel and his dogs to us so stay there and subscribe and do not forget to hit the notification bell to get notified every time we upload a new video mr mungara how are you fine thank you <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the show <laughs> thanks a lot and thank you for coming mm -hmm. yes so introduce yourself to our viewers and introduce the name of your kennel and what breeds you have all right my name is joseph mungara uh, this is kirangi po kennel mm -hmm. in Nembu town mm -hmm. And uh, we major on the Black Russian Terrier mm -hmm. and uh, the German Shepherd. Okay, the Black Russian Terriers. People, this is the first time we're meeting a Black Russian Terrier. And these yeah. dogs are cute! Down. Becky, here! Here. Here. Sit. Sit. Here. Sit. Stay. Stay down, stay. Becky, here! 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 Becky! Here! Here! Now, how long have you been keeping the terriers? Uh, the, we've been with them for two years now. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Uh, wh what about the kennel? How long has it been running? Well, we've been running the kennel for over 15 years now. Wow. W what's his name? His name, his name, the one we use is Pecky. Mm -hmm. He's Black Recording Angel Pericles. Mm -hmm. That is a registered name. Mm -hmm. He's from Hungary. Mm -hmm. He was born on... Uh, the 5th of December last year, but one. So, the Black Russian Terriers are a bit different from German Shepherds and Rottweilers. They don't just attack people. They are very protective of their owner and property, but they are very intelligent. They accept people, but strangers, they'll be wary of strangers, but they will not just attack someone unless that person shows aggression towards the owner or the dog itself. Oh. They are very trainable and they love staying where their owner is. Mm -hmm. So they are the best dogs for personal protection. Mm -hmm. Yes. So how long have you had him? I've had him since uh, March of 2020. Mm -hmm. He was born on December 2019. So right now he's one year, nine months. One year, nine months. Yes. So you, you raised him since he was a puppy? Yes, I imported him from Hungary. Mm -hmm and he came when he was four months old, mm -hmm. and since then we've raised him and trained him ourselves. And uh, how did he adapt to the weather, like the weather in Hungary and the weather here? How is his adaptation? Okay, the Black Russian Terrier was bred to be a military dog, mm -hmm. so he should be highly adaptable. 
though they do better in cooler climates, they adapt well. The only thing is that you don't keep them in the hot sun for too long. You don't expose them, otherwise you, can, you could get a heat stroke. So what we, did, and what we do, we work with them in the morning when it's cooler and in the evening. During the day when it's cool, but when it's very hot, you, just like any other dog, you don't go walking them. Yes. And, and now if it was um, bred for military, and now you have him here as, let me call him a pet, and also as a breeding dog, yes. how is that? How do you maintain its energy and all that? Okay, the Black Russian Terrier was bred by the, military, uh, the Russian military for their use uh, during the Second World War. But afterwards it was released to the public. And the way they bred this dog, it was to be a very loyal dog, that loves to stay close to the people because it was good to guard the armories and prisons and all that. At the same time, it was to be a fierce dog, not aggressive, but very protective. And it, the, the Black Russian Terrier adapts very well to the family because they love people. They are very gentle with children. Surprisingly enough, this dog will play with a toddler and not hurt them. Ah. They are very, very gentle. Yes. Okay. And, um, with it's uh, you have other dogs here, the GSTs. Yes. How is it interaction with other dogs? Uh, with proper socialization, they they adapt very well to other dogs. Um, they they will play with them, but the males you have to be careful with males. They don't love to be challenged by males from other breeds. Ah. They will not they will not uh, start the fight. They will not be aggressive towards them. They will play with them. But if the other dog challenges this one, then there'll be a fierce battle. Now, this is a big dog. Yes. How does its diet look like? Surprisingly enough, the black Russian terrier <laughs> consumes less than the German Shepherd. Aye. They know how to conserve energy. Mm -hmm. They play only for about 15 minutes, mm -hmm. and then they'll chill. Mm -hmm. And they will stay like that. Mm -hmm. they, so the activity level is very low. Their, con their food uh, conversion is very good. Oh. I've realized I'm using less on him uh -huh. than most of my German shepherds. Ah. Yes. Apeki here is very obedient. Yes. At what age did you start training him? Okay, just like the other dogs, even German shepherds, we start early with our puppies. When they are, they are, they are, they are eight weeks old, we start, we start talking to them and teaching them to be obedient, follow simple commands. Mm -hmm. For him, we started immediately. Mm -hmm. The Black Russian Terrier, uh, for the first 18 months, mm -hmm. you focus on obedience mm -hmm. because they are naturally protective. Mm -hmm. These are not the dogs people talk about agitating. Mm -hmm. You actually reduce that. Mm -hmm. So what you do, focus on socialization, mm -hmm. show him a lot of animals, mm -hmm. a lot of people, take him to very many places, different markets and mm -hmm. highways and villages. Mm -hmm. You'll have a very stable dog. Mm -hmm. Then from there, you just, you just focus on guiding him on how to give you the service you want, if it's protection, how you'd want him to do it. But naturally, they are protective. Okay. Now, this is the first time we're meeting these dogs. Yes. And uh, from my research, it's uh, very rare in Kenya. There are not many. <laughs> so why this dog? And how did you decide that now, this time around, this is the dog that I want? Uh, first and foremost, let me say again, this is the first re registered black Russian terrier to land on Kenyan soil. Mm -hmm. This is the first one. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I researched um, them for about three years. Mm -hmm. I studied them and I loved them. Mm -hmm. I loved their working abilities, mm -hmm. their, their, their love for people. Mm -hmm. And uh, he became my dream dog. Mm -hmm. So that's how we, we concluded on bringing them to Kenya. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is your final final dream dog. Do you still have another final uh, dog? This is my dream dog. Uh, I'm actually working on him, the Black Russian Terrier being our only breed in this kennel in oh. the future. Oh, yes. That is awesome. All the best. And they are cute. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. With him, uh -huh. you don't over excite him. Uh -huh. You walk slowly <laughs> and talk softly. And uh, if you are holding anything, uh -huh. even your mic or camera, uh -huh. For him, it's a toy and he can go for it any time. Oh, okay. He, he's very highly driven. <laughs> His board drive is over the wall. Mm -hmm. So you have to be very careful with him. Whenever he sees a toy, mm -hmm. he goes mad. Oh, okay. Yes. So people 
my, my high energy level <laughs> with this dog is too high. I need to tone it a little bit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, the other one is already here, so let, let's go to the, to the Nino. Introduce her? Yes. Let's introduce this guest. <laughs> <laughs> now, here is Anja. Mm -hmm. uh, she is Russian. Hope Anja is her official name. Mm -hmm. uh, here we call her Anja or Wanja. Uh, yeah, the local name is Wanja. Mm -hmm. uh, she's a female. Mm -hmm. She's also uh, about uh, one year, nine months. Mm -hmm. uh, both of them come from Hungary. Mm -hmm. They came at the same time mm -hmm. as f uh, four month old puppies. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, Anja's handler. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here is a family business. This is my son Victor. Uh, he handles them, he handles Anja. And I uh, wish our young children, young guys were here. Mm -hmm. By the way, the person who have brought them up was our daughter. She was in class eight. Mm -hmm. She's their best handler. Oh. She takes care of them. Mm -hmm. they, they can be handled by children mm -hmm. when we're very well trained. Mm -hmm. They are okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, uh, for the time that you've stayed with these dogs, uh, have you come across any uh, health challenges that are different from our usual dogs that we are used to? Okay. First, let me say this, these two guys are from Champion Lines, um, bo both of them, all their pedigrees are full of world champions. Mm -hmm. Anja is actually a daughter to the 2017 Crafts uh, 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 Champion uh, of Black Russian Terriers. Mm -hmm. Now, when it comes to the health of this breed, they don't have a uh, lot of challenges when it comes to health. They are quite strong breed. This is a very strong breed. Mm -hmm. and. Um, the only thing, you, one of the things you have to guard against is uh, hip dysplasia mm -hmm. and uh, elbow dysplasia mm -hmm. that comes with most of the large, large breeds. Mm -hmm. um, and then, the, 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 the because of their coat, mm -hmm. you have to take care, very good care of their eyes mm -hmm. and their ears. You can see we trim the hair in and out mm -hmm. and clean them uh, regularly mm -hmm. um, so that you don't have ear infections or eye infections. Mm -hmm. But generally, this is one of the most healthy dogs you can keep. Ah, really? Yes. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have... So long as you use clean food, mm -hmm. a clean kennel, mm -hmm. uh, give them enough exercise, mm -hmm. uh, this dog will stay with you for 12 to 14 years, being a healthy dog. Well, when it comes to breeding them, uh, have you come across any challenges with the breedings and puppies, anything? Okay, let me start with current... The, the, the Black Russian Terrier... Uh, we, we already have had one litter mm -hmm. and uh, the, the, the when it comes to taking care of the mother mm -hmm. they have to feed very well mm -hmm. and uh, when it comes to whelping mm -hmm. you have to be with them throughout because it's a large breed mm -hmm. the puppies are big they are large mm -hmm. for example she gave birth to 10 puppies wow. and uh, I had to assist her each one of those puppies I had to do real meat with me for her. Wow. So you have to be there mm -hmm. and uh, because they get tired they, they can um, lie on the puppies and crush them. Mm -hmm. So for about one and a half months mm -hmm. you don't sleep. Uh, you have to be them every two hours you have to check on them. Mm -hmm. When it comes to uh, her breastfeeding mm -hmm. I remember the first one month Every two hours, day and night, mm -hmm. I had to go and meet for every puppy is, 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 is getting its share. Mm -hmm. Now, when it comes to raising puppies, one of the challenges we, s we face is uh, you, you, can lose, you can easily lose a litter for many reasons. Mm -hmm. One of them is the mother can crash on them. Mm -hmm. uh, the other thing is we have some challenges with parvo mm -hmm. virus. In, in, in this region. Mm -hmm. So you have to vaccinate properly from the fifth or sixth week, you start your vaccinations mm -hmm. and uh, follow up well with your vet, mm -hmm. keep the kennel clean and uh, make sure you're using the right food because the puppies are very sensitive to the kind of food you're using. Mm -hmm. A little bit of uh, mm -hmm. contamination and you can lose your whole litter. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, when it comes to feeding, uh, especially like these large breeds, you, they have to have a lot of protein, mm -hmm. clean meat, mm -hmm. or use a very good kibble. That's a challenge for many dog owners in Kenya. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, it was a, ch a challenge also for us. Apart from feeding, is the issue of dog training. Because mm -hmm. uh, to own such dogs, even German shepherds, mm -hmm. you really need your dogs to be very well trained in obedience mm -hmm. and uh, trained by the right people. Over the years, people used to think that training a dog is training a dog how to bite. Mm -hmm. But now, people know better. Mm -hmm. the, the, the foundation of a good dog is a well-trained, uh, obedient, and well-socialized dog. Mm -hmm. Not a dog that goes biting everyone yeah. any time. Mm -hmm. Yes. As a breeder, I don't like talking about breeding as a business, mm -hmm. because let me be frank, dog breeding cannot make you a, mil a millionaire. <laughs> You can earn a decent earning from breeding dogs, mm -hmm. but you cannot get and become a millionaire through breeding. And I'll tell you why. Mm -hmm. It's very expensive mm -hmm. to breed dogs the right way. Mm -hmm. For example, to breed these female ones a year mm -hmm. and still maintain them mm -hmm. is not cheap. Mm -hmm. Number two, mm -hmm. you, can, you can get the, the, the litter, but the issue is how many will survive. There are things that are beyond your control. There are, there are diseases that will come even if you do your best. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you still lose puppies. You know, in the past, we have had times when you breed and you lose the whole litter, mm -hmm. even after full vaccinations. Mm -hmm. For reasons not very well known, mm -hmm. some of the puppies will not develop immunity even after vaccination. Mm -hmm. and, and so, and other times you have lost puppies because of uh, contaminated feeds, not from our side sometimes, mm -hmm. you buy feeds mm -hmm. and they are already contaminated. Mm -hmm. and, and so we have had times we lost dogs. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, we, <laughs> we became wiser. Mm -hmm. We are now very careful about that. Mm -hmm. uh, so the, the challenge is on uh, the, the, the food. Mm -hmm. It makes us lose, it has, it has made many of us lose a lot of dogs. Mm -hmm. And now the, the, the power virus is a killer mm -hmm. for puppies. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, when it comes to this dog, and maybe there's somebody watching and they are thinking that's a wonderful dog to have, what advice would you have for them? Now, the Black Russian Terrier yes. is a wonderful dog to own, mm -hmm. but cannot be owned by just anyone. Mm -hmm. First and foremost, mm -hmm. you have to be available for these dogs. They love people. They actually don't like being kennel. They have to stay where you are. Oh. So even if you are, they have their kennel out there, it must be close to your house. Mm -hmm. And every time you get a chance, you, you play with them, do something with them, because they don't like being isolated. Mm -hmm. If you isolated the black clash and terrier, it you develop some uh, problems like being aggressive, mm -hmm. or just not, not a good, good dog to stay with. Mm -hmm. So uh, if anyone wants to own a black Russian terrier, mm -hmm. one, you must read a lot about them, mm -hmm. understand the breed. Mm -hmm. It's a large breed. Mm -hmm. It was bred to be a military dog. Mm -hmm. So it's a working dog. You have to give him some work to do. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it will, it will employ itself mm -hmm. and it will, you will not <laughs> like it. So um, if you want to own the, the black Russian terrier, be available. Mm -hmm. They don't consume a lot of time in terms of walking and playing, but every day you have to create time for them. Mm -hmm. Number two, they love cleanliness. Mm -hmm. This coat must be very well maintained. Mm -hmm. You have to groom them at least twice a week. Mm -hmm. And that is a general grooming. Every two months, mm -hmm. you have to engage a professional black Russian terrier groomer. Oh my God. As you can see, if you look at the neck, mm -hmm. you can see it's groomed. Mm -hmm. We have trimmed the hair. Okay, mm -hmm. we, we, we trim the and mm -hmm. trim the ears. So the hair grows longer. Yeah, it grows longer. Mm -hmm. This one is slightly trimmed, mm -hmm. and so you need someone. This coat is not just like a German Shepherd coat. Mm -hmm. You have to write, have the right tools. Mm -hmm. So it's advisable to have them groomed by somebody who knows how to groom them once every two months. Mm -hmm. This breed is sensitive. Mm -hmm. It has a very sensitive temperament. Number one, you don't use force in, on them. You don't train them using any force. You must use positive methods of training. Mm -hmm. Reward schemes. So don't think you can use force on this dog. Mm -hmm. They will react very badly. They will either become very aggressive or anxious. That's one thing you have to know as a, a owner of 
the Black Russian Terrier. Mm -hmm. Socialization, we are talking of you know, they meet children, mm -hmm. uh, people, you know, in our country, people love uh, uh, playing around with other people's dogs. They don't care much. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> so you have to make them meet all types of people. Mm -hmm. Yes, most of the times when I walk with these dogs, mm -hmm. I have a lot of problems with people. Mm -hmm. they, they want to, like, uh, 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 be aggressive with them and they don't know this dog can easily just they they attack with a lightning speed yeah. when they are threatened or the owner is threatened mm -hmm. i'm giving this information because people must know how to own a dog responsibly mm -hmm. so socialize them they don't love animals so much <laughs> so you have to get them used to seeing other do other animals like cattle and sheep and mm -hmm. goats and chicken. From a young age. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I still have a big problem with him mm -hmm. because he loves chasing chicken <laughs> 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 and goats. Mm -hmm. So even with all that all that socialization, mm -hmm. and I've done a lot of it, mm -hmm. I've realized you have to be careful with them when you're near <laughs> animals. Chicken but pass. those who have bought puppies mm -hmm. are telling me that uh, they are doing very well there with their cats. Mm -hmm. They are staying together. They play with their cats. Mm -hmm. So it, do, it all depends. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you do follow-ups for when somebody gets a puppy? A lot. Mm -hmm. We love our dogs. Mm -hmm. We actually select who will pick a puppy from us. Uh -huh. We are very careful. Mm -hmm. We have to interview you mm -hmm. and know whether you can handle the black Russian terrier. Not just handle. Mm -hmm to see that they are well kept. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. We also help them learn how to groom mm -hmm. and take care of the dogs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So actually people, we are filming these at it's around <laughs> 7 a.m. in the morning. And uh, we had to travel early because Mr. Mungara, you explained to me that you want us to be here early before it gets hot for the dogs. Why is that? Uh, the reason is, mm -hmm. Dogs do not regulate their, they don't have a self-regulation for, for body heat. Mm -hmm. So when they become, they start to overheat, they don't stop. Mm -hmm. the, internal, the internal temperature will go very high mm -hmm. and they will suffer from heat stroke. Mm -hmm. That's not just for the black Russian terrier, mm -hmm. but any breed. So the, the one handling the dog must uh, be aware of the weather. Mm -hmm so that you don't expose your dog to very high temperatures and humidity because mm -hmm. at, at some point the dog will overheat to a point where you cannot reverse that reaction in the body mm -hmm. and they will die of heat stroke. Mm -hmm. Now when it comes to the black Russian terrier, mm -hmm. it was bred in Russia mm -hmm. and it was bred to work in very cold weather, Sal uh, Siberia and all that. Mm -hmm. And uh, because of the heavy coat, this coat does two things. Eh? Mm -hmm. It keeps them warm, mm -hmm. but also can keep them cool. Mm -hmm. But it can also trap heat ah. when it's very hot. Mm -hmm. So what you do, mm -hmm. you work with them when it's cooler in the morning. Mm -hmm. You walk them and train them when it's cooler, just like all the other breeds. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the evening, mm -hmm. they'll be more comfortable mm -hmm. and they'll be more willing to work mm -hmm. because they are not uncomfortable with the heat. Uh -huh. The Black Russian Terrier uh, was bred by the Red Sack Kennel, which is a Russian military dog kennel. Mm -hmm. And they used 17 different breeds to come up with this breed. It was very serious research and work. Mm -hmm. They used the Giant Schnauzer, the Yadil Terrier, the Caucasian Shepherd, mm -hmm. the uh, uh, St. Bernard, mm -hmm. plus others, the Newfoundland until they came up with this kind of breed. Mm -hmm. So it's a very, very well researched breed, mm -hmm. very strong, mm -hmm. and uh, with very, 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 very good uh, characteristics in one dog. So as you look at this dog, you're looking at 17 breeds mm -hmm. in one. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. So I've finished my chat with Daddy here, and uh, we're going to move on to Chege. And uh, he's going to introduce himself properly, and he can tell us what he does and uh, his association with these beautiful creatures here. Okay? Yeah, so my name is Victor Chege. Mm -hmm. uh, professionally, I'm a musician, a music producer, music educator. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm also a music business person. Mm -hmm. 
uh, I also consult matters music and uh, arts. Mm-hmm. Uh, so um, I've been a lover of dogs from when I was a young boy. Mm-hmm. I was, I, I've always loved animals, mm-hmm. and uh, uh, particularly like when we got a dog, I was very happy. I was uh, by that time I was 13, mm-hmm. 13 years old, 12 years old. Uh, and one thing uh, that I love about taking care of animals uh, is that I, I get to learn a lot about uh, animals, about even myself, about human beings, because mm-hmm. I love information. I love uh, information and you applying it. Mm-hmm. So, so uh, that's one thing that I well, I enjoy a lot when taking care of animals, mm-hmm. uh, enjoying the information I get information I get to use uh, and information also I get to share mm-hmm. uh, and also because I'm a born again Christian I also love creation mm-hmm. so when I see dogs I see art uh, that's, 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 that's where I can see maybe music mm-hmm. as an art mm-hmm. and taking care of animals uh, like dogs has uh, the, 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 the joining point uh, I, I see them also as a, a beautiful work of art so when I see them growing uh, from like a puppy to 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 a big dog like like this, uh, it's a wonderful process for me. I, I equate it to like when maybe I write a song from scratch, starts to maybe this very small idea and it becomes a full-sized song or something like that. Or when you are developing an artist from scratch to when they are they, they can have a, like a stable career. So 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 I would like to encourage young people to love dogs to love animals not to be not to allow yourself to be ruled by fear and uh, and information that does not actually build you no, yeah yes. so, so i would like to encourage also young people to uh, l- look for proper information mm-hmm. uh, educative stuff like dog tv kenya where you learn mm-hmm. real good information about animals don't rely so much on what you hear uh, or maybe on a few bad experiences, get the right information. Mm-hmm. Yeah, internalize it, meditate on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and get a dog one of these fine days. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Which is your favorite breed? Uh, my favorite breed now is the Black Russian Terrier. <laughs> 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 I used to be a lover of German Shepherds, but uh, I, I, I love one thing I love about the BRTs, the Black Russian Terrier, is their intelligence mm-hmm. and uh, their love for people. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, because they love staying around you, it's very therapeutic, especially during uh, this maybe past two years, we've really gone through a lot. Mm-hmm. So staying around animals has helped me, for example, uh, not get into stress, out of stress and depression. Mm-hmm. Uh, taking care of them helps me also to burn mm-hmm. a lot of the energy mm-hmm. I have mm-hmm. and use it constructively. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. That is awesome. The dogs, a man's best friend. It's therapeutic. It has helped him. It has helped him stay busy. Hey, why don't you own a dog? It's been awesome. My Embu people, how are you doing? Have you been watching? Have you been subscribing? This is Dog TV Kenya, and I'm your girl Linda Kenyita. And subscribe, and do not forget to hit the notification bell to get notified every time we upload a new video. Mr.